Well, this is my first video. I've never done this before. So I just wanted to say my name is Tom Mazzarella. And I was diagnosed with ALS three weeks ago on the 18th of March. I just celebrated my birthday on Easter, which was yesterday, and had a great time with my family. It's been a long ride through the years that I've always had something different going on with my body. I've always tried to express it with different doctors and trying to come up with something to alleviate the pain and the symptoms of cramping and muscle twitching and depression and everything from erectile dysfunction to groin problems with the pain in the back. And we just uh, recently been told with all the symptoms that I've had that these were signs of something that was much different than what doctors, you know, in Rhode Island were thinking it was. So five years ago, I was diagnosed with Parkinson's. And with the doctors up there weren't prepared to um, really diagnose anybody up there with this type of disease. Um, they knew that there was something that they couldn't identify and they just put it all on Parkinson's. So I lived with it. I moved on. I did boxing, I did bike riding, I did all the things that I thought were going to help me and benefit me. Um, and I was just getting worse. I was getting weaker. So I'm at the point right now in my life that I thought it would be imperative that I would do a small documentary on things that had occurred to me and wanted to express that with my family. It is a disease that changes many aspects of life. Not only your own, but the people in your life. And that can definitely draw on you, especially when You came from such a rough life and now that you were put in a position where you finally know what you have and now that you're in a different place in your life where you met the love of your life, a family you never had and you were put into a whirlwind of so many different emotions and not have the answer for and now having the answers it's not easy by no stretch of the imagination it's not easy you see it on people's faces every day It's emotional. You live such a long life and you think that you're going to have more of a time to do more, you know. And you're limited with the pain that you have. And your mind sharp. Your mind wants to do all the things that it used to do. But the body won't comply with what the mind says. And it's very, very f frustrating. I'm only uh, just turned 54. And this is the beginning of my life with ALS. There is no cure for this disease. It affects very few people in the United States. 
it's considered the 1% disease in the U.S. Very hard to diagnose. And by the time that you're diagnosed, you're halfway through the disease. That is terminal. You want to do so much in such a short period of time it's it's so tough. It has been something of a challenge each and every day just to get out of bed. The pain, um, the muscles on how they're starting to um, be eaten away with this disease. It is uh, it's a horrible, horrible disease to be trapped in your body. I don't know when or what part of my body is going to be attacked first. I know that my legs are very weak. They have been for a long time. I know the doctor said that my left leg is smaller than my right. My shoulders are starting to get smaller. My arms are weaker. The pains in my hip every other day are excruciating. The only thing they could do is give me painkillers to kind of ease the pain. But that comes at a price too because it also makes you severely con you know, constipated. And to struggle to go to the bathroom every day is, is, uh, is challenging, especially when it's harder and harder to get up off of the toilet seat and get yourself back on the toilet seat. It's just, um, you know inside your body things are changing. I don't think people are really in tune to their body until it hurts or it doesn't feel well. And then we take care of it. Instead of taking care of it um, every day, eating right, exercising. But even all the things that I've done in my life between exercising, dieting, going to the gym, this disease comes out of nowhere and just kicks you right in the ass. You can't stop it. You just have to hold on for the ride. And it's very difficult. And for me, being a strong person, independent in a way that I'm so used to taking care of other people. I have to have my wife now open up bottles of prescriptions for me because I just can't um, open them. I don't have the strength on my wrists. And cutting things now are starting to become a little difficult in the dexterity of fine cutting, you know, onions and peppers and stuff like that. And I love to cook. So, having this taken away from me, slowly it just starts to play with my mind in the realization that, you know, in time it's going to be less and less and less. So I'm trying to do as much as I can in the time that I have. And I'm grateful for that time. I do not waste it. You get very, very fatigued um, on this deadly disease. It definitely steals your inner spirit, or it tries to. You have to have faith. Because deep inside, you know you're losing your body. And it is a horrible thing to know that your body is not becoming well. It's actually losing a fight. And that's where I'm at right now. It's a fight that I know as a person who fought through trials and tribulations in my life and succeeded and moved on to bigger and better things and made me who I am today, I know this is a fight that I can't win. And I know it's a fight 
you know, that's going to rob me of my life and the life of my loved ones. So I wanted to start off by introducing myself and telling you where I'm at today. And this is April 17th, 2017 is the beginning of my journey with ALS. And I want to do this small documentary so that my loved ones can look back on where I started and when the day comes that the Lord takes me. And I'll be in touch.